The biggest ever wind farm is set to be built off the British coast. The UK government might be gearing up for a so-called hard Brexit, but that doesn't mean it's stopping work with European companies. The world's largest wind farm is said to be built 90 miles off the British coast by Danish energy firm Dong. When completed in 2022, the wind farm will have a capacity of some 1.4 gigawatts. According to Dong, that's enough energy to power some 1.3 million British homes. The project is expected to create 2,000 jobs over its duration. Is renewable technology enough to stop the onslaught of our warming planet? Uh, we don't know, but that hasn't stopped these bright minds. Someday we might live on floating islands. The Maritime Research Institute Netherlands is testing the concept of building artificial floating islands to expand the amount of livable space for the country's growing population. The islands would be made up of large floating triangles that connect to each other in a flexible fashion. The island could be five kilometers wide. The floating space could be used for housing and public infrastructure and support renewable energy systems, such as wind and solar energy farms. There are many challenges to this concept. It is still unknown how the floating megastructure would withstand winds and ocean currents. Nonetheless, some believe the Dutch research is a good starting point. New York is going clean. January 25th was a big day for clean energy in New York after the Long Island Power Authority approved a contract for what's set to be the largest offshore wind farm in the U.S. Deepwater Wind is building a 90-megawatt wind farm near Long Island's South Fork Peninsula. The $740 million U.S. dollar project will have as many as 15 turbines capable of powering up to 50,000 homes. The turbines, each about 600 feet tall, will be connected via an undersea cable to a substation in East Hampton. Construction could begin by 2019, with the wind farm completed and operational by as early as 2022. The project is part of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's vision to source 50 percent of the state's electricity from renewables within 13 years. Tesla to build the world's largest battery. Tesla has signed an agreement with the state government of South Australia, promising to build the world's largest lithium-ion battery there in just 100 days, or it's free of charge. Tesla will build a 100-megawatt battery at Hornsdale Wind Farm near Jamestown in South Australia. The project will be 60% larger than battery systems in Southern California. The lithium-ion battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which will store renewable energy generated by wind turbines. The battery could power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there's a shortfall. The venture is part of Tesla's endeavors to promote the transition to sustainable energy. The company has previously released similar clean energy products, such as the Solar Roof, Solar City, and Gigafactory. Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass-produce the solar window blinds. U.S. homes have huge solar potential. Google launched a project called Project Sunroof in 2015, which measures the solar potential of individual homes in the U.S. The results showed that most U.S. homes have great solar viability. Google says 79% of all U.S. rooftops are solar viable, which means four out of every five homes have enough unshaded area for solar panels to be installed. The result was calculated using 3D modeling of the homes and nearby trees to determine the amount of sunlight and shade the roof receives. 
In Hawaii, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico, more than 90% of the homes are solar viable, while in Pennsylvania, Maine, and Minnesota, only over 60% are viable. The project began in Boston, Fresno, and the San Francisco Bay Area. It has since expanded to every U.S. state, with about 60 million buildings across the country having been analyzed.